um, in Capitol Hill. It was so nice, like, to just be around people. But this is, this is pretty amazing that we can get together on Zoom and still be in community. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. I miss those days. I miss yeah. them a lot. But I know that we're going to be in it for the long run. So hopefully those days are, are around the corner as well. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. I see, yeah, I see a lot of familiar faces, love it. Yes, it's just, it's just going. David just must be having a ball keeping up here with letting folks in. <laughs> yeah, hi well, Nancy, Maggie. I see you. Hey Shelly, you're uh, Maggie Rittenhouse right now. <laughs> just, I, I was just that. taking I'm her so note. <laughs> I just sent her note saying, she looks a lot like Shelly Morrison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And when, when uh, Maria said, well, I see some new faces, I see some old faces, I thought, oh, she's talking about me. <laughs> oh, no. but, uh, Did you think changing your name would set, was settle that? <laughs> oh, there we go. But um, it, is, it is fun to be Maggie every day for at least a couple Can minutes. Yeah, great. And hi, Donna and Andy, miss you. Hey, Shelly. Ah, now you are truly Cheryl. Mm -hmm. I know it, it definitely when we talk about uh, later on, we're going to be talking about our 2020 wins and definitely one of the ones that I've been feeling good about is just learning Zoom, right? It's learning this whole different platform. We've all become familiar with it in these times. All the different calling uh, programs. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> totally. All right. Did someone say Zoom? Yep, Zoom. <laughs> Paul. Absolutely. It sounded like Paul's voice. It was Paul. Definitely. Around somewhere. All right. So I think folks are just going to continue to to trickle on in and we are we are recording this today just a heads up for everybody um, and then also if you know folks who weren't able to make it and um, want to catch this later we'll have the link for everybody to to share as well all right so let's give it one more minute folks are steadily continuing to join us welcome in welcome everybody we're just waiting one more minute. Hey, Maria, maybe everybody can toss in the chat um, where they're zooming in from. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll do it. If everybody just want to put in the put it in the chat where you're like what city or town you're in, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Lots of Seattle, Finney Ridge, Magnolia. Ooh, look how. I can't read that. <laughs> oh, Portland the first, Anita. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Accidental Island, Terry Tazio. <laughs> Good to have you. Lots of Seattle. It's the new name for West Seattle. <laughs> is, it, is it, Terry, is it your new name or is it like a, a community accepted name? It's a, it's a community thing. In fact, we have, we've sold about, oh, several thousand t-shirts with Accidental Island on it. Yeah, too because funny. The bridge, is, the bridge ain't working. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like uh, in Iowa, we, there's, a, there's a funny a t-shirt shop called Ray Gun um, that <laughs> a lot of folks went to um, if, if, if you were able to, to travel and be in Iowa uh, at, the, at the time of the, the caucuses when we went for the presidential tours and they had a lot of fun shirts with a lot of like fun inside joke names like that. And I thought we should do that in Seattle for all of the different, the different neighborhoods. And Terry Tazioli would be a great person to get that started. <laughs> Agree. That's what he signed up for it now. <laughs> all right. Wow, we've got we've got folks all over. That T-shirt shop in uh, in Des Moines, yeah, uh, is epic. So 
I know that like Iowa may not be a destination vacation spot for people, but to the extent <laughs> that you make it to Des Moines, you absolutely should not miss the Ray Gun t-shirt shop. They have political t-shirts beyond anything you could ever imagine. It's, a, it's like a Costco of political t-shirts. Um, <laughs> they're, they're fascinating. There's so many good ones. Maria, you are buying like the half, you are buying up the, so many of them, yeah. It was, I got a bunch of gifts. I want to share with uh, everybody a mug that I got while I was in Iowa. There oh. it is. <laughs> 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 I love That's a good one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that is what I said. That's a good one. When, <laughs> when, when uh, David said that I was going to be leading Team Iowa. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, and what a great time it was and a great time um, with the team. And Alice, I think they are online. They got to be. They got to be, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. See, if Maria, if you had taken any of my upper level courses, you would have been making your own t-shirts. The printmaking. Yep, yeah. We got our own printmaking expert here too with Lori. Gosh. Maria, if you had passed Lori's classes, you might have been making <laughs> your own. There, there that was it. <laughs> Alrighty, that's, that's what she meant. That was teacher speak. <laughs> Yes. And, oh, oh, and I think John uh, found it for me in the chat, if anyone's interested um, on the, the Ray Gun site. Some cool, some cool t-shirts. I know some folks that are on this call were honest with that trip or um, for that trip and would attest as well. Absolutely. Yeah, Ellen, you, <laughs> yep. Yep. you thought it was a pretty cool spot. It was awesome. I have some great photos of us there, so I'll share those. <laughs> Good to see you, Ellen. And the t-shirts are so topical. They must just like make them up the night before. I mean, it's just every issue that's cooking, they've got the t-shirt. It's really fun. Yeah. So why aren't they one of so our vendors? It, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nancy, what did you say? I think they should be one of our vendors. I feel like CP could get some <laughs> fundraising out of that. <laughs> Oh no, is Charles here yet? <laughs> We're gonna put you on that project, Nancy. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Excellent. I, I nominate Lori to assist me yeah. and then a whole bunch of next gen folks for the cool slogans. <laughs> way to go, way to go. Look at that, you just Lori. created a team. You yeah. see that? And I had That's what we're about, Nancy. in Des Moines and I could, you know, find out the inside yeah. scoop Bye. from the shop. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for your phone. Alrighty, folks. Well, we're still having folks trickle in, which is amazing. But I think wow. now would be a, a, a really great time for us to, to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to share my screen here. Oops. Are you guys able to see that? I'm just trying to make it louder. Mm -hmm. oh. Are you guys seeing my screen? Mm -hmm. Yep. All mm. right. You hear that little square yeah, box? This one. No, no, no. This one? Yeah, yeah, that one. So, um, okay. are we good? Can you hear me? Can you see me? We're good to go. David, can you make Glarcy co-host also, please? She can help you out here. Oh yeah, I can, I can do that. Um, unless David, you've got it. Um, yeah, he's got it. Okay, okay. I don't know how to do it. All right. <laughs> well, we're all here today to be celebrating an awesome, awesome year with Common Power. Um, and we know that uh, some of you may have started with us as Common Purpose. We did the big name transition this year into coming into who we are as Common Power. We, we had our pandemic this year. We had major racial upheaval with, with you know, all of the protests and everything. My gosh, I could go on and on, but we all know what a year it has been this year, 2020, this major election, incredible things happened this year. So we wanted to, to bring everybody together, you know, have an opportunity to, to reflect on some of those things and hopefully give you all an opportunity to connect with other people as well, because uh, that's what we do. We're connecting in community together in common power. All right, 
So to kick us off, um, 2020 wins is kind of the thing, the theme of the night. We want to be talking about um, all of the positive things that we have been able to accomplish together because there've really been so, so many. And of course, uh, you know, at the, 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 the meat of that list, which we know together in Common Power was helping flip the presidency, electing President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. But we really did so much more together. Uh, so to start us off, I want to just quickly click on this video here. And some of you may have seen this video already, but it's a good, a really good tone setter for us. love that video. I'm sure you guys have seen that video. I just wanted to share it again because it does reflect a little bit on some of our wins that we've had. Um, and you know, right now I think it would be a really great time to, to hear a little bit from one of the people who was instrumental in helping put this video together. And honestly, in all of our, our website and marketing um, and pretty much everything that we do. <laughs> but uh, I want to pass it off to Charles. Charles, uh, how are you feeling today? How are you feeling about these wins? Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling thankful, um, and I wanted to I wanted to show something too, to to lead into this. Uh, this is my my frame for uh, for everything here. Um, but David, can I get the the ability to share my screen here, please? Um, so as when we talk about certain themes, hey Charles, sorry um, for sorry for a second, Maria, I need you to yeah. make me the host. Okay. I see. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I can kind of beat David to the to signing in here. Uh, ah, got it. Got it. Yeah. Right. So we'll take care of it, Charles. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, one of the so so Marie mentioned I'm the I'm kind of the, one of the marketing people at at CP. Um, I did um, had a career at Starbucks and I ended with uh, marketing and e-commerce and. My frame is always uh, in images. Whenever people talk about a feeling or um, uh, a memory of something, it's always, oh, I remember that, I remember that image in my head. Or sometimes like it's an actual photo, it's an actually actual image that, that I took, or that I kept. And um, as Maria was talking about, oh, I remember this time last year, it made me think of, of these times in previous years. And so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull up something I just th sl slapped together as they were talking because I was inspired by it. Um, but at the core of all this is the reason why um, we have we have wins even before elections. Uh, and the biggest win that we have every single year is in all of these pictures here. Um, this is day one. This is March 3rd, 2018. And forgive me if, if you are like, <laughs> Charles, you always show this picture. Uh, it's because there's so much, there's so much captured in here. Uh, another cool thing is uh, we, have, we, have, we have the privilege of having a lot of members of our community who are still a part of it. And you can probably see yourself in that photo. I bet you can see your shirt that you wore. You can see the back of somebody's head. You can see there's a lot of Patagonia jackets going on and vests going on, a lot of Seattle gear there. Um, and then at the forefront there, you see some you see some faces that are familiar. There's David Domkey there on the right there, looking looking and and looking like a professor, like he's in charge there. You see uh, AJ here, 
I think she's on the mic and she looks like she's, oh no, that's Muget on the mic over here. And AJ's over here hoping that she doesn't get the mic handed to her next, probably knowing AJ. Um, but this is, this was our day one. This is March 3rd, 2018. This is when we launched. And there was already a community there. There was a community there. Fast forward to the fall of that same year. And we were a community in Florida, just one of the places that we traveled to together and did work. Wale was there, David's there in the back. Uh, a bunch of us did work. You can see a, a bunch of other community members there uh, that, that were a part of this. Uh, this is prior to election day and we were going all the way to the very end, knocking on doors. Um, and even before the election results, I mean, you know how they ended up. There was this community that was built there. There was this alliance of people that were unified for a common goal. And that was, that was a win. That was a win there. This is a year after, this is us in Virginia, led by Maggie Rittenhouse. Again, fighting all the way to election day. Um, and uh, there with one of the elected officials, to her, the amount of work that we'd done on her behalf, and I, I forget her name right now, forgive me, um, but she was not somebody who made the national headlines. It was a win for her that she had us come and help her, that she had all these strangers flying from Seattle and knock on doors for her. That was a win, that's what we were about. And of course, we, we celebrated like that afterwards. Um, and then this is the event that, that uh, Maria was referencing where um, almost exactly this time last year, we were in the Riveter. We were um, together, all generations. We are from the vantage point of kind of our makeshift stage. And you see Channing and you see Daniel there. You see Maria, MJ, uh, taking a picture there in the beginning uh, the, in the bottom there for social. Uh, but this was the first time that we brought together our full community across all generations. And that was, that was the biggest thing that year. That was bigger than any electoral win. Um, all of this to say that regardless of the electoral outcomes, which we'll talk about today, and we'll, we'll talk about in detail for months to come, the biggest one that we celebrate this time of year, all year round, every phone bank, every intro workshop are the times that we get to build and take care of this precious community and all the relationships that we built together. That's the one. That's why it doesn't matter that we didn't get to elect Gillum or Stacey Abrams. It really, it really didn't to us. It was, it was the people around us. It's the reason why folks came back even regardless. We, had, we didn't have the result we wanted in some of these states. Those people are gonna be back. This community's coming back to do the work because we like each other a hell of a lot. And that's, that's the secret sauce. That's what's gonna to take to, to, to keep this fight up for years to come. So um, before I hand it off, I gotta talk about the fight right now. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a fight right now. We're right in the middle. We're celebrating the win to 2020 and we're trying to get one more win. We're trying to get one more win. Our, our first of Donna Stringer. Thank you. Not coming back. You never left. Thank you, Donna. Exactly. You never left. Um, and we're not leaving Georgia. Uh, that'll be our first win. We hope of 2021. Um, and the, the community is doing a ton of work there. Um, Maggie Rittenhouse is not able to join us today. Um, but she she passed along some stuff that she wants me to share because we are winning by just mobilizing in the way that we that we mobilize tonight. Uh, 50,000, 53,000 phone call attempts, 107,000 text messages sent from our group, um, and over 2,000 hours, volunteer hours spent on this, 61 events, which is which is crazy. Now, here's the thing that I wanna highlight before I hand this off. Um, there's a couple of these. We got numbers from, from uh, the Ossoff campaign. And it was an aggregate of all the events and calls and texts and postcards that they have, have had. And this is just the Ossoff campaign. I wanna highlight two of those numbers. One of them is the Ossoff campaign said that they held 400 events for uh, phone banks. Um, we've had 61. That's, we've had 15% of what Ossoff is saying that he's had for his entire effort. Um, Ossoff says they had 4,000 shifts, phone banking shifts that they put together. We've had 800. 
800. That's, that's about 20% of his number. Little old CP here in Seattle. And the last one, and I'll hand this over to the person who's running this, is uh, Ossoff says that they sent out 90,000 postcards. By the end of our effort, we will have done 30,000 postcards. Holy cow, that's one third of what Ossoff is saying they're doing. So I, if you're wondering if we're making an impact, yeah, I think we are. I think we're making an impact. I'm going to hand it off to Larcy to give a shout out to her postcard team. Thanks, Charles. So right now I have one in my hand and I invited the crew to show up and do some postcarding in this hour. Be yes, look at that, that's amazing. I can see them on the screen, that's so cool. So we started out with 12,000 going to Cobb County and then we know what happened with Cobb County. So that tells me those postcards were effective if they were trying to close down some of those voting sites. And then for this time around, we're working at seven different locations and we're sending out 19,000 across seven different locations in Georgia, helping the Dems out with these postcards. And so we had over 200 volunteers sign up for all the postcard endeavors these past 30 days. That is amazing. I just wanna give a shout out to Lori, to Nancy, to every hand that made this possible with nine locations that all volunteers across the greater Seattle area and Vashon Island were able to grab these postcards so they could make little tiny personal notes on them so that we they know that we are looking out for Georgians out there in this particular race. So much love and so grateful that we were able to execute over 30,000 of these postcards out there for Georgians. And let's just hope they're not closing any more voting sites because we know how effective these little guys are. All right. Thank you, Larcy. And thank you everybody who's continuing on with those postcards. You guys are amazing. Even when we're celebrating, we're working, apparently. <laughs> All right. So bringing it back here, we've done a lot. We've had some wins. I wanted to share a little bit as well, uh, some of the, the numbers that, that Charles had been hitting on about, about Georgia, but uh, we also were able to put some numbers together about, in general, the work that we were able to accomplish this year. And we know that, that our work generally revolves around this, this mindset this mojo and mobilization values. And so I just want to celebrate together, you guys. We were able to do over 50 workshops this year remotely. In that transition, in the pandemic, over 50 workshops, over 83 conversations, lectures, and salons. Many of those mini salons I did with my partner, Mary Fiegel, who's here as well. We were able to do so many of those. 225 podcast episodes and more. Raise your hand if you guys have been listening to the podcast. Yeah, anybody? Yep, yep, get plugged in. More numbers, more community Zoom gatherings, over 44 of them, 20 state outreach teams formed and more than that because of our, our, our Deep Red team and Poder Comun. 950 plus active volunteers in 2020. If you ever had a doubt that your work made a difference, remember that it was you and 950 other people that were doing this work as well. That is the, the enormity of the work that we were able to accomplish together. It's really amazing. And then what was that mobilization work? Well, we still were able to knock over 9,000 doors, still made 350,000 phone calls, over 2 million text messages as well. I know, Daniel, if you're on this call, you're excited to see that. Over 95,000 postcards sent as well. And continuing on as we continue to do this work um, in Georgia as well with RC. Amazing, thank you guys. I wanted to share this as well though, because I can sit here and talk about all the things that we were able to accomplish, all of the numbers, all of the statistics. Um, but, but I think this is, this, this is more important. 
Um, and, and this is a tweet. It didn't happen three hours ago, but I did, I did a screen grab of it um, from Brittany Packnett Cunningham. She's one of the co-founders of Campaign Zero. And uh, I think it was earlier this week, she, she had this tweet um, that, that says, all of your, you know, what's your biggest flex of 2020 lists. And when she says, what's your biggest flex, she's kind of talking about um, what are your big wins, you know. Um, all of those, those big flex or big win lists should begin with surviving this unprecedented year. And if that's where your list ends, hey, it is perfectly complete because you're still here. What a mighty, mighty win. I think that really spoke to me because being able to see all of you guys here today still with us, I know that there've been so many losses, but knowing that we're still here and we're able to come together and, and celebrate together, that's the win. Because even though it is about the work, it's about the people that are doing that work as well. So I wanna say thank you and thank you for the amazing work that you've done and for continuing to be here with us. It's a big win. Okay, so with that, I promised everybody an opportunity to, to talk to some other folks. And so we're, we're sticking along with this theme of wins here. And we're gonna go into some breakout rooms. And we're, we're probably all breakout room uh, experts at this point, but what's gonna happen here is David's just going to um, put us in some rooms into groups where we can talk to each other, get to know somebody else a little bit more who's been doing that work. And in that breakout room, your only prompt is to, to discuss a, a personal win that you've had. Anything, it could be anything. It could be understanding breakout rooms. You know, it could be that you've just made it through all of the mess and the muck of the year. For me, I think my personal win was getting an opportunity to connect our work in common power um, with the Des Moines Black Lives Matter chapter early on this year when we were able to help with advocacy and help um, urge the governor to sign an executive order to reinstate the right to vote for Iowans. Um, and it was, was 60,000 Black Iowans that would have gotten the, that did get the right back to vote after that executive order was signed. Um, and even though we didn't have a, a, a lot more wins in Iowa, that was a big win for me. All right, so hopefully you've been able to think a little bit about a win. David is going to put us in breakout rooms here, and then we'll, we'll come back and do a little bit of sharing. Maria, just for reference for folks, how long will they be in the, in the breakout rooms? Uh, uh, I'm going to put three to four people in each breakout room. Okay, sure, sure. Let's let's go with six minutes. Okay. Oh, I mean, that might not be long enough. Uh, no. Let's go <laughs> three to three to four people in the room. Let's go. Let's go. Ten minutes. Okay. All right. Okay, everybody. You're gonna have to accept your uh, your breakout room invite. Hey, Katie, it says that you didn't accept yet. I didn't get anything. Like I never got a pop up or anything. I was waiting. Okay, let's see here. I wouldn't uh, you, have rejected it. <laughs> totally. You want to jump off and come back in, okay? Okay, I'll leave and come back. Nice earrings. <laughs> oh, thanks. They're festive, right? Yes. Be right back. And, Sure, and Tira, I need to put you in one too. What's happening? If the prompt is we're sharing personal win, a personal win for the year, okay? Okay, good, yep. Let's see here, okay. And Jerry, uh, it doesn't, it says that you're, you haven't accepted yet. OK, 
Okay, I'm back. Okay, let's try it. Are you should right, get? There we go. Okay, okay, it. great, great. Hey, Jock, we're uh, we're sharing personal a personal win from this year. Just pop people into breakout rooms, okay? Okay, I'm gonna pop you into a breakout room. Thank you. You got it. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, Jerry, I don't know why. Did you not get an invite? Hello, Sue. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, people just went into breakout rooms and everybody were sharing one personal win for the year, a win, some kind of win. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop you into a room that could use another person. Uh, okay. Get out of here.
Hi, Janet. Janet. Hey, hey, Janet. I, what happened? I, well, I can't. I they I kept freezing up in the breakout room, so I just got out. Okay. Do you want me to yeah. try to pop you back in, or you just want to hang out here? You can pop me back in for a minute, I guess. Do you know who you were with? I was with Shelby. Okay. Okay. They couldn't hear me, so I gave up. <laughs> it says that you're, uh, yeah, it still thinks that you, that you have an invite, that you okay. got it. Um, I left the, I left the breakout room. Sure. I think you'd need to hop out of Zoom and come back in. That's what uh, I was wondering. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, sure. Yeah. Hey, Susan, welcome here. Thanks. Uh, people will be coming back from breakout rooms in about two minutes. Um, they're sharing a personal win for this year. And then we'll have some general sharing, folks sharing those with everybody. By the way, I've really been enjoying the podcast. It's a, a mm. highlight of my day. I feel like it really helps me to stay up on what's going on without having to read for all the hours <laughs> that you do. So I appreciate the synthesis for those of us who <laughs> are writing postcards instead of doing those other things. <laughs> totally. Well, thank, I'm really glad. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. Did it show me back in? Oh, there we go. Um, Susan, I think you had reached out. Uh, didn't you reach out to talk to Maria a couple weeks ago? Did, did you end up connecting with her? No, about the uh, funding and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'd love to talk to you. Um, can I follow up with you? Sure. Sure. That'd be great. We got super, super busy and uh, there are times when things fall through for some of our younger colleagues. Well, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I, I totally get it. Uh, it's I, ironic that in theory, you know, nothing's happening, but it actually it is. I mean, you know, um, it's kind of crazy how busy the days can be and how much harder it can be sometimes to get the work done to just because of the situation. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. I will, I will connect with you. All right. Everybody's going to come back here in about one minute. Good timing for us, David. Thank you. And th th thanks for the heads up. Sure. I find that whenever I get assigned randomly to um, breakout rooms with Common Power, it's almost always with people I know now. Yeah, I saw so, you and Kylie are in the same room with somebody. Yeah, well, and Frida. Frida also. Oh, and Frida, the three of you? Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, was, I was adding a few more people that came in after we'd started and so I would be scrolling through looking for rooms that were a little bit smaller than the other ones mm -hmm. to add somebody. I like the intimate groupings. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it's, good, more, good. it's more work, but it's, you know, it, it gives you time to talk. Yeah. Ain't that what relationships are? Like more work, but more value, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, Frida, Terry and Tom. Ah! Hey, how you doing, Frida? Good to see you. Oh, so damn cute. Can we see you again? <laughs> Say something. Say something. Hey, Maria? Maria is cute. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did Biden and Harris, did they join our meeting? Is that what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I will tell you that on inauguration day, if it's not raining, I'm putting bunting on the columns. Um, and Joe and Kamala will be at the front gate for selfies. And literally, if it's not raining, you come by, we'll be there. Where is that? Oh, 311 West Highland. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Right. You're going to give the inaugural address? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pop. West gonna, Island. Yeah, pop in the chat, Terry. If you, yeah. Okay, if, okay, I will. I'm going to uh, mute everybody here, and then okay, Maria's going to. Is Terry? Oh, wait, I think, I think Terry's. Um, uh, Terry, did, were you finishing a thought? Terry, no, did you have a win to share with all of us? We're just coming back from being in breakout rooms and discussing some wins. Terry, what was what was a personal 2020 win for you or Tom? You want to talk? Uh, you first. I'm thinking. Well, uh, you know what? We didn't really talk about that. Maria, <laughs> yeah, give us some cues up early, Maria. Uh, what you posted, and I realized I follow who on Twitter, her on Twitter about expectations for 2020 that really resonated with me, mm -hmm. with just everything that's going on. But mm -hmm. for now, you have to take it day to day. And for me, it's, I just listened to Governor Whitmer on a Zoom call and she talked fast and ended so we could be here. So this is my win today, really. It's just lovely to be here to say hi to everybody. So Maria, what's going on with the Rita Hart race? I mean, yeah. you know, 400,000 votes, uh, six and votes? she's down by six. Six, six. She's still down by six, and they haven't called it. They called it. They called it. They but called um, it? they they oh, did. But there are, there are some um, some talks that the the Rita Hart campaign is is not going to um, let it go, and that there will be some some court battles in the future. Was but, there any kind of a recount? Oh yes, yes. Okay. And yes, I I spoke the margin with, down. Yeah. Maria, this is Mary. I spoke with Jack yesterday when he called me. He said that the race has gone to the House of Representatives, the Rita Hart race. Maybe, you, maybe I've got to, I've got to learn a little bit more about what's going on. But yeah, um, the the Hart campaign, Maria, has appealed it to the U.S. House of Representatives. Um, oh, they did already. Right, they have. But right. I want to use this opportunity to jump in here and provide a, an Iowa moment so that yeah. everybody, everybody can think about this for four years from now when there's, whether it sure, hopefully isn't Iowa, but it's another state in that has uh, some early caucuses or primaries. I want to share a moment from Iowa for us. All right. This is a picture right here. <laughs> and Biden's taking the selfie. All oh. right. And that's me, oh, wow. <laughs> there's Charles, there's Maria, there's Ellen Ferguson, there's two other people, Troy Bonas and Emily, Emily Carmichael with us. We're in a gymnasium oh, in Iowa. That. Fabulous. that was Ellen's iPad. It was Ellen's iPad. So I wanna put a pin in it for everybody who's on this, that you might think yeah. about traveling on one of our presidential tours come 2024, where we go to the early states. And this is the kind of access you get to these folks. <laughs> Yeah, there's that there's that picture and a few others that are on our homepage uh, near the bottom, actually, if you want to pull it up for yourself later. Yep. But David, do we really have to go back to Iowa? No, I'm hoping we don't. <laughs> no, I'm hoping I, we're going to South Carolina 100% for sure, just so yeah. everybody knows. Oh, yep. I, I want to go to those state fairs. We don't we <laughs> we have a few little porky piggy little up at Evergreen, but we do not have good state fairs like they do in the Midwest. Hey, Terry, this is a little and off now, topic, okay? We're going to bring oh, it back. Sorry. No, no, <laughs> that, no, but we could go with the politicians. Okay, I'm muting myself. Okay, okay. after the vaccine. We love you. Terry. Yeah. We love you, Terry. All right, well, bringing it back, we do have 15 minutes late and a little, or 15 minutes left and a little bit more content to get through. So, um, you know, I, I do want to to uh, pop it over to someone who's new to our team to share a little bit about a, a win that she had this year. Betty Chipman, are you on this call with us? Yes, I am. Betty, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good. Thank you. Did you have a, a win this year, 2020? 
Yes, I joined Common Power as a full-time um, employee, um, <laughs> starting um, well, starting in January, <laughs> but I've been working behind the scenes for about almost a year now. <laughs> so yeah. that's something I'm very happy about. But I think my biggest win is actually just being able to join this community and be able to support all of you and vice versa. <laughs> so I think that's the biggest win that I've had all year. And also to be doing Georgia work. <laughs> I'm enjoying that <laughs> meeting with um, MJ and Maria every Wednesday. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> Thank you, Betty. Betty, what have you been, been doing uh, so far with us before coming on with staff? Um, I've been doing a lot with CP Next. Um, I create the visuals and um, I do their messaging on their social media. Um, I kind of work with CP Next more, but I am going to be working with um, CP and the entire organization in creating things. And um, yes, there is more to come. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Betty. We're, we're glad to have you. And it's definitely a win for us to be able to bring you on full time. So thank you so much. All right. And, you know, in the interest of time, is, is there anybody else that would like to um, take their self off mute right now and share about a win? Um, this is Chuck Podgershke. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I voted today and uh, with oh my gosh. five of us together Yay! down at State Farm Arena. Uh, and it, it just was just the best experience. Everybody's in a good mood. People are so fr friendly and kind and it was often awesome. And oh. I'm loading a picture of us. It was raining when we came out so we took the picture in the car um, but I just uploaded it there. So I mean just I couldn't tell you how thrilling it was. Oh my gosh. Chuck that's so awesome. How Maria, long have if I could that? just add that Chuck and the Georgia Five have been absolutely fabulous members of Team Georgia. And mm -hmm. the fact that they found a home in Common Power based in Seattle, and Chuck was very involved in a fabulous fundraiser for Warnock and Ossoff and Fair Fight. And so Chuck, it's so fun to see you here. Yes, yeah, good to see you too. Thank you. All right. I wish you guys could all come today. I've, and I could have done a live Facebook thing. I was so thrilled. Anyway, that's it, that's my story. Thank you. Oh my gosh. But well, that's a great, oh my gosh, that's, that's probably one of the best wins that I could think of right now as well, being able to, to use your power of the vote, and especially for you right now in such an, an important election, and getting to, to have you in our community with us. Yep. So thank you for thank having you so me. Much, Chuck. All right, so um, we, we've got a little bit of time left, and for, the, <laughs> for this next part, I... Um, I just want to do something to continue to celebrate the the people that we have within Common Power. And um, I want to celebrate the people again because of how important it is uh, understanding it's about the work with the people that are doing it, but often because we, we don't have a lot of opportunities to give a lot of shine uh, to the to the folks that that are the ones that are out here making these calls doing the work um, and also including our staff as well. And so I just want to say right now, I'm going to go to an, uh, the next slide. I want you to know that nobody else knows that I'm about to do this. It's kind of a, um, a, su a surprise to everybody. And everything that's coming next to also say is completely biased and, um, you know, just completely my opinion of something that I have made up. So is everybody <laughs> ready for me to do this? All right. So what I would like to do next is just do some special kudos. And again, these are biased. These are just my made up kudos. And I wanna give a special shout out to some volunteers that I feel like are volunteers of this year in 2020. Um, these folks have, have been going above and beyond. They um, were taking time off of work to commit to this work. And they were committing to understanding that they are gonna be working in races that are likely not going to be um, big wins. Uh, just because of the nature of the work. And forgive me, I'm just gonna move through this kind of quickly, but I wanted to give a special shout out to our friends 
Paul Bloom, Sherry Wilson, and Team Deep Red. I'm going to go through um, a bunch of these here pretty quickly. And if you guys just want to say something in the chat, I know Paul is here with us. Or um, Paul, if you're, if you're here and able to wave or anything I'm... like that. <laughs> I just want to say everybody is, is really, really grateful to you and, and the work that you've done. So thank you. Thank you so much. Well, it's been absolutely a pleasure and an honor to be able to do it. And, um, you know, to just uh, building on what uh, Charles said before, we lost all eight races. Um, and um, I still consider it a huge, huge win to be able to do the work and, uh, and create the ground, the kind of the foundation for uh, success. Uh, electoral successes in the future. So thank you. Yes. Deep red. You guys are working so hard. Thank you. All right. Here's my next made up category. Team of the year. All right. So this one, okay. You guys know I was, I was the team Iowa lead. <laughs> and so it, it, it is quite biased, but I will say this is not team Iowa. I just wanted to give a special shout out to our team. Hodere Kamun, uh, honorable mention to my team, Team Iowa as well. But I, I wanted to shout out uh, Hodere Kamun because um, if folks didn't know, um, my colleague Maria Jimenez, or we call MJ, um, was able to put together a whole team of Spanish speaking volunteers. I call them the team of the year, not only because of the work they were able to do, but the relationships that they were able to build and my knowledge that this team is gonna be going on for the future. So I just wanted to shout out MJ and team Poder for your incredible work with the Latinx community. Thank Sorry. you so much, Maria. <laughs> I was not expecting this. I am so honored that you thought of Poder Comun as team of the year. There is <laughs> such amazing work done in every single uh, team this year, Florida, Texas, you know, all the teams. And to be to be honored here for Poder Comun is incredibly amazing. So thank you so much. And where they can, the work continues. So I'm really excited to see what Political Moon comes up with uh, for 2021. Absolutely. All righty. So um, this next one. So um, <laughs> the, the ones coming after this, I just wanted to give some shout, special shout outs to our staff. And our staff, you guys, incredible. I, I feel so lucky to be able to work with every single one of them. Um, and, and one of the big things is that uh, our, our staff doesn't always get a whole lot of recognition because um, our staff is pretty intentional about, uh, you know, there is no I in team, you know, where we are um, pretty intentional about trying not to use I in the language that we're using and that it's about the people and the work that we do. So I wanted to take a, just a little moment. We're going to move through it quick. So um, if you guys can just continue to celebrate the staff with me, um, give them some kudos as I, um, as I celebrate them here. This is the this is a person who uh, educated me on the I and team uh, sentiment as well, but also has probably educated everybody in this room. If you've been able to be a part of workshops that she's created and that she's led, um, this person is the none other than AJ Musewe. Can you all give help me in giving some kudos to AJ in the chat? AJ, we are really really excited to continue on with you in the coming years and to continue to to learn from you because it really is a superpower. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Next up, we've got a rookie. We've got a special rookie of the year, and it turns out you have already met her on this call. She's joining us full time in staff, but she you know, has been making things happen for us already with our social media accounts. And so I want to do a special shout out to one, Betty. Betty. Woo, yeah, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> I was like you're typing in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you're my rookie of the year, Betty. <laughs> Thank you for what you do. All right, next one. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love this one. This is a staff member who is most likely to lend a hand. This is a person in my days when I was stressing and feeling like I don't know how I can get things done. This person showed up to help me drive around and hand deliver things when I got myself into projects that I couldn't complete on my own. Um, but this person is just generally kind, compassionate, and and cares about giving a hand so much that he created Friday check-ins at noon that you can join to get some help on the workshops. And that is one other than Daniel Caseberg. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Folks are giving you some kudos in the chat. 
All right, continuing on with the kudos, we've got a super special Mojo Award. We know that Mojo is an important tenant for a couple of reasons. One, because we do our work together in community and teams, and also because we're prioritizing the next generation of leaders. And this person does both of those things. Um, all of our team meetings would not have happened if this person had not dutifully scheduled and calendared them. And our Action Academy and our CP Future wouldn't have happened without the wisdom and knowledge of this person. And that is one Kylie Knowles. Kylie, we are so happy to have you on the team. And thank you so much for embodying our mojo. All right. <laughs> so this, this prestigious award goes to the person that saved the Common Power Twitter account. We did not have somebody <laughs> to continue to do this Twitter account. <laughs> and this is true, 100%. 100,000%. <laughs> this person stepped up and not only had she not been super familiar and comfortable with Twitter before, but she ended up leading Twitter trainings so that we could have incredible Twitter related advocacy. I got to wake up and log into Twitter and see all of our Common Bauer volunteers doing things on Twitter, many of them trained by one other than Her Royal Highness Roberta Greenwood. Bird! Bird! The I'm queen of Twitter. And I know the queen title doesn't fit with democracy, but just remember I made this. <laughs> <up>. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I don't think that this um, person is on this call with with us today, but I wanted to give a special special award to one Jamie Lynn Wheeler, who is really deserving of what I call the Evergreen Award, obviously because we are Washington State, the Evergreen State, um, and this person has had so much influence on our ability to work in Washington State, um, but also because she's, she's consistent in her leadership, um, and that consistency is, is really evergreen. So shout out to Jamie Lynn. This is recorded. We love you. We're sending the kudos to you. All right, this next one. This one, I think we can kind of guess at who this one is. This, this is the person most likely to create a time machine because they are always, always thinking about what's next, always thinking about the future um, and, and making sure that we're prepared, that we're ready for it, and um, that we're putting our best foot forward. Charles Douglas III, we appreciate you for your, your forward thinking, your innovation, and because I really truly believe if someone was to create a time machine, it would be you, my friend. So kudos to Charles. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Thank you, thank Blue you. We're getting, there. Got here. we're getting there. We're getting there. Sorry. Thank you, everybody, for bearing with us as we hit six <laughs> o'clock. <laughs> All right. This one, an unbreakable thread award. This this award goes to a person on our staff who. Um, has always been a thread in building community, right? Um, but this is funny because when we first got into quarantine, this person was literally sewing a bunch of things as well, sewing masks and stuff. And so uh, I also thought the thread thing was kind of funny. Uh, but this, this award goes to one, Vanna. Vanna joined our team and since then has been threading together squads, bringing people into this work, and just being a really, really um, important thread through all of our tenants. So we want to celebrate Vanna and say thank you as well. <laughs> all right, we've got a couple more here. This one is <laughs> most likely to be multitasking. Now, this person is probably multitasking because they have so much passion and are so committed to the, all the different communities that they belong to. And they're always continuing to figure out how to collaborate and bring those communities together. Um, there are so many communities that we were able to work with because of this person's ability to reach others and to multitask. And that is one, Wale Akinlosotu. Wale, thank you so much. Major kudos to you for all the incredible work you did bringing people in. This next one, unapologetically wow. phenomenal. Our staff has really grown, isn't it amazing? Uh, but this, this person uh, reminds me all the time to be unapologetically myself. And I know that a lot of people on this call can, can say the same. She reminded me to not say sorry for things that I really shouldn't be sorry for for and to, to really show up and, and that I belong in every space that I occupy. 
she just got, has that effect on people. And, and that's my, my good friend, MJ. MJ, we love you. We love you unapologetically. All right. So we've got this one and then we've got one more. This one, you guys, this, this, this award goes to the person who's most likely to get in good trouble. I feel like we've all gotten into good trouble because of this person. Um, this person, uh, uh, we know that the, the getting in good trouble quote does come from the, the late Congressman John Lewis. And I, I really believe that the person who I'm giving this award, this kudos today, really embodies that fight and really embodies those values that, that John Lewis exemplified. And, and that is one David Donkey. David, we love you. We Thank you. Roo, roo, that, that, roo. Wow. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, David. Thank you. All right. And so we've got one more. This is our 2020 MVP. And I really want to pass it off to, to David to talk about our, our 2020 MVP because is he and a couple of other folks are going to put it into so much words, better words than I could, um, the, the person who really deserves this. And it is um, September Rose. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to pass it off to David to tell who the real 2020 MVP is. So Maria, thanks a ton for doing that and those pieces. And we wanted to end tonight with a special thank you and appreciation and celebration of one of our colleagues who has really had an, a year unlike anybody could have imagined and has carried us in so many ways. And it's Larcy Douglas, okay? And Larcy, um, you, no big deal, but delivered a child. All right. And September Rose is nine months and you co-captained the Colorado team. You built Action Academy. You, you lived with Charles, which is the toughest thing going. I know I spent two weeks in a, in a, in an RV with the guy and I second like, that hundred percent, hundred percent. I sometimes still, I wake up and I'm like, I have no idea how is she still here. Great. And Larcy, we, we, are indebted to you. We are inspired by you. We are appreciative of you. And you have gone above and beyond. I love all of our staff. I love our staff and volunteers. I so appreciate all of you. But Larcy, you took it to a new level this year. And we are all grateful and all appreciative. And so I asked three people to say a few things in their own words about you. And so that's how we're going to close tonight. But Larcy, this comes from the bottom of the heart from everybody who's on this call and everybody who's part of this community. So uh, AJ Musewe, could you, you're up first. Absolutely. Um, so Larcy, I can't see you in the <laughs> group of 90 people, but it's not like I'm not gonna see you in a couple of days anyway. First and foremost, um, as somebody who is uh, consistently curious about everything in the world, um, having Larcy as part of the CP team allows us to feel comfortable being curious because she's just down to try whatever idea. We may not always have all of the details, but again, the motto for CP is you need to be 100% comfortable with 70% certainty because a lot of uh, life is uncertain. We didn't think that at the beginning of this year we'd be dealing with a pandemic during a census year, during an election, a presidential election year, and so we've all had to ad adjust. Um, Larcy decided to take the reins for CP Future, and my goodness, did we not know what happens when you unleash Larcy's full power and full creativity. So to be able to learn from somebody who has that much experience, and not only has that much experience, but is joyfully sharing how you can also succeed and is mentoring not only just the CP Future kids, but I consider myself a, a mentee <laughs> of Larcy as well. Um, you absolutely and wholeheartedly deserve this recognition. I cannot wait to continue to learn from you. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for giving us September Rose. I have been asking for her for months. <laughs> and this is what happened. You know, people just ask and ye shall receive. Hi, pumpkin. So, Larcy, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait to celebrate you in person whenever that next time is. Awesome. Thank you, AJ. Uh, you can all see Larcy showing up with September Rose right there. All right. I had to go to the person who's known you all, you know, second longest after Charles in our group, Vanna Zaragoza. Vanna, 
could you offer a few words about Larcy, please? Oh my gosh. Okay. Ate, uh, so Ate is a, a formal way of addressing an older sister and she's been my mentor for over, I don't know, like my whole life. Oh my God. Um, and I really appreciate everything that she has taught me to be a leader. Like literally everything she's taught me so much. Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's great. Um, so yeah, I've, I've known her for a really long time since I was a little kid. I was probably like shorter than her. I'm not shorter than her anymore, if you don't know, but <laughs> um, I've known her for so long. She's taught me so much about myself and how to, how to lead people, not, as, not only as a youth, but as an adult and a young adult. And I carried that through to after graduation into my workplaces. We got separated for a little bit there, but then we're back together here in Common Power. I'm so grateful for you. You recruited me into this organization as well. You wear so many hats everywhere you go. And I cannot wait to see what you do for 2021. Thank you so much, Vanna. And then for the third person, Larcy, um, she was not able to be here tonight. So she and I got on a Zoom call earlier. And this year, um, earlier this year, you had a chance to do some conversations and interviews with Jill Ruckelshaus. And Jill was really moved by those experiences. And everybody, this is the Ruckelshauses of the Ruckelshauses. All right. And Jill herself, fought and gave so much to try to pass the Equal Rights Amendment and has fought for women in leadership in our society and just incredibly inspired by you, Larcy. And so I recorded a couple minutes with Jill this morning and I wanna share it with you. And this is how we'll end. And if you wanna say something, Larcy, of course, after this recording. So, uh, hey, Jill, thank you so much for joining me for a moment to talk about Larcy. We're, we're, we're honoring and appreciating Larcy tonight. And um, I just, I appreciate you taking a minute. What would you say to Larcy if you were, if you were here right now? Well, I think this is a wonderful occasion because I'm sure your experience all year is what I briefly had when I talked to Larcy earlier this year. It's a warming and exciting and intellectually stimulating experience to talk with her she's larcy you're you're just so up to date and so full of enthusiasm and energy it may be it may be happy to think about what's coming for women in the next 20 or 30 years we talked a lot about that and the importance of women's involvement in politics and i i see how successful you are and i marvel because i know you're doing about eight things at the same time plus taking good care of Charles and and I know exactly what it means to have September, the, the joy of it and the kind of constancy of thinking about her, taking care of her, being with her. So the fact you're able to do all of that and give yourself to September is really remarkable. So I'm just joining the chorus to say congratulations on this wonderful year. And Jill, you, you are Larcy. Uh, that is my view. As Larcy is you and you are Larcy. And so what, what, is, that, what is that challenge, that, that, that juggle like? Uh, well, any woman listening to this would know it's, it's, uh, it's thrilling to find something you love um, to do outside of your home. You love your, your children and your husband, but your mind is fastened on something that brings you a lot of fulfillment beyond that and excites you. And uh, women in politics, uh, women in society was that for me. And I see that Larcy gets amazing amount of things done while, while balancing all these responsibilities. And I mean, it's so easy for me to see she's loved and respected by everybody who works with her. So that's, that's a real talent. And I'm, I'm very sure she's not getting enough sleep, and I'm very sure she thinks she's doing everything about halfway. None of the rest of us believe that, but I'm sure it feels like that to you, Larcy. Yeah. Um, and, you know, 
when you were doing the work that you were doing, Jill, and you were the pioneer on the Equal Rights Amendment and all the work you've done, um, what would you have hoped in 2020 that you might be able to say about the status of women in our society as a, as a last question and how Larcy exemplifies that? Yeah, um, I, I imagined, I dreamed that there would be um, more women in every profession, more women in politics, and that the feeling of women's, the necessity of women giving more and being accepted more in social and political life was so important. I dreamed of women like you, Larcy, that young women with all the other responsibilities in life would understand how important it is to pick up the civic responsibility too and to think about the country we live in and what we can do to make it better and I just you are the woman I dreamed of Larcy when I was going through this and I can't tell you how happy I am to have met you and how delighted I am that you and David are working on this great project. Hey Jill you are the reason that we are able to do this work. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm flattered you said that. Congratulations, Larcy. What a year. <laughs> what a year. All right, Larcy, we love you. Thank you, thank you so much for all you do. And, and everybody else as well. Thank you all so much. I do want to say really quickly before we wrap up here and before I hand it to Larcy, uh, when I went through all of that, I said those were my kudos, right? Um, I, I figured that everybody might also want to share some kudos as well. So what I'm about to pop into a chat is just a Google form. It's got a couple of questions, a name and a kudo. Um, at any point, if you would like to put in a name and a kudo, I will make sure that I get that message to that person and I'll do it anonymously. Um, but it's just a, a Google form I put in the chat and it's, it's for 2020 kudos. And then I wanna uh, give it quickly to Larcy. Larcy, is there, there anything you'd like to say about everything? <laughs> Guys, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's, it's so great. I, was, I loved how people were getting shout outs and highlights because there's so many of us that made 2020 absolutely bearable. We're survivors in 2020. We're continuing to do the work. I don't think anybody's rolled down their sleeves yet. And if you and, and if they have, they did it temporarily and nobody noticed because they're continuing to do the work. This was such a pleasant surprise. I want to say thank you. Um, I, I, yeah, I love you all. I put all my passion and energy into this. I don't recommend what I did this year though, <laughs> but it was an extraordinary year. There's so many amazing people in this community that I'm willing to put the extra effort to make sure that this community is solid, this community is loved and that people come back all the time. So whatever we need to do to keep our community the way it is and continue to grow and do the, the things that we know are gonna impact, you know, everyone involved in this democratic process. I am so, so in. I too, I'm also excited about 2021, but now my challenge to the rest of you all out there is who's gonna take this next year? Who's gonna be the MVP <laughs> for next year? Because if that's gonna be the prestigious award, we get, to get, we get to pass it to every hand as many times as we can. So I will start the tradition I am not going to be the one to finish it. Somebody else will. <laughs> All right. Cheers to that, Larcy. And cheers to 2020 and to Common Power. Maria, Thank I'd, you, like everybody. To, I'd like to say something, Maria, to close. All okay? right. All right. We're keeping the glass up. <laughs> so, hey, to you, Maria, to yeah. you, for your community relations, for your love for our community, for you came up with all of those kudos. I had no idea you were doing that. That was a <laughs> gift to us. But that is em, 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 embodies who you are. Thank you all. To everybody, to 2021. All right? All right, 2021. Tw <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's go. Ah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now we're going to go, Common Power.
just to say uh, goodbye to everybody. Oh. No, bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> so Maria, you, you did amazing, girl. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Love you guys. You. Good job, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Vanna, I love the earrings, Vanna. Right. I yeah. had to I had to match Bert from earlier. <laughs> oh, Bert's beanie. Where's Bert's beanie? <laughs> oh, look at Bert. Yeah. And Katie, Kate, Caitlin, Katie also had some cool earrings yeah. like yours, too. I had to put my hair, my tree pin. Oh my God. I'm also wearing elf. Elf. It's got oh. elf. Uh, oh my, I love elf. <laughs> Amazing. Did you beat that, Vanna? No, I got it from Target. Oh, hi. Nice bird. <laughs> <laughs> Had to ask. All right. Yeah. About Bye, everybody. Uh, well, I heard I you know what happened quite to my a name. bit. You got a good microphone. This was fantastic. Thank you, CP team leadership. You guys are amazing. So nice to see you, especially those I haven't seen for a while. It's nice to see all your smiling faces. Brings me a lot of joy. Everybody take care. Bye, Nancy. Nancy. Hey, Nancy, Woo! you're a win for us for 2020. Yeah. Yeah. You're a win for us. Thank you. Hey, it's, yes. a win. Yes. it's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's a win-win-win. <laughs> Nancy, when are you phone banking? <laughs> Look at Maria with the with the <laughs> <laughs> recruiting. That was that was slick, Maria. Was slick. <laughs> when you phone make it, um, Mondays at noon, and then I'm jumping on to Cobb County because they're fun little peoples over there. They need some. They need some uh, some of us to come on and boost their support. So I'm going to go on to theirs. Um, also. It's the Cobb County Dems. You have direct access yeah. to their people. Mm -hmm. So if you want to ask questions, I, I just like getting to know, like, what's it like on the ground? I'm just such a nosy caller. When I get somebody who's <laughs> dropped off there, they're like, yeah, I voted early. I'm like, oh, great. Tell me, how long was a line? How long did you have to wait? <laughs> what what? did you see? I want eyes on the ground. And can I just tell you guys, this is wild. Um, Delaware Valley Action, David, remember? Yeah, Ed, yeah, yeah. Right I get an email from him, so did Maggie. He's in an RV with his wife, headed to Georgia, did, booked the wow. whole thing like before they said, do not come. So I told him to use caution, find a county, go to the Dems office in the county and find out what they're doing safely for out of state people. Maybe it'll be lit drops in the suburbs or something like that but that he should just follow whatever they wanted to have done if he wanted to participate. <gasps> and then I told him to send me photos. I wanted <laughs> postcards, postcards from the road so we could post them on the site because you know he's the only one I know with feet on the ground there besides Chuck who popped in here before. Yeah. 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 So. Well, I'll try to jump in on one of those Monday at noon, Nancy's before this thing is over. And I, I think some folks would probably want to do the same. <laughs> Oh, come. It's a total, like, we've streamlined. We're, we're getting much better at sorting the sorting hat, get everybody sorted out and rock and roll off you go. So it's fun. All right, you guys take care. See you, Nancy. Love you all. Bye. 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 All right, everybody. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Hey, Betty, you don't, you don't have to stay to the end. I just want to let you know, you don't, this isn't a test. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do that to her. I, I feel like, like I it's all good. <laughs> See, Betty, <laughs> I, I love on the I the conversation at the <laughs> end. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk. I'm going to call. I'm going to have actually, a Zoom you know call. What? This is how you get ahead. This is actually, a, in the corporate world, I would actually wait till the end of the meeting, and I'd sit back and, and meet people and talk to them and give them ideas and stuff. And they'd be like, who is this guy? I don't know. Let's talk to him. He's here at the end.